Well, our parents started the business in 1957 and they just had a uh, but small butcher shop in Bustleton and I don't think either of us really thought about being in the business. It just happened that we turned up there to help our father on occasions and um, one day we were both there and he walked out and said, do what you want, boys. <laughs> Moved to Bunbury in uh, around uh, 1990. Uh, I think at that stage we probably only had about no more than 10 employees. And I do remember saying to Peter one day, if we get any more than 12 employees, we'll start sacking. And at this stage, I think we've got about 500. People need meat, so we, we, we're given the service and the quality. We uh, export around the world. We can do up to 400 uh, bodies of beef a day and uh, three and a half thousand lambs. We've always had good people around us, so therefore we've been able to grow. My job is to basically analyse Walsh's on a weekly basis and let Peter and Greg know exactly where their business is at any given time. Bob came and joined us in uh, 2000. I'm so glad he did. He's been a, a good asset to the company. Oh, I think we're aware being successful is analysing our business weekly. I can hand Peter and Greg the key performance indicator sheets and they know, no matter where they are in the world, exactly how their business is going every week. We base our business on service and um, I think that Bank West has given us excellent service. I guess uh, perhaps the stereotype picture of a bank manager is sitting at a desk in a pinstripe suit um, dealing with shuffling paper, well, getting out on the ground and meeting clients, so that is a privileged position to be able to get to see what they do. Frank is part of our team virtually. He's, uh, he knows everything that goes on. That's very flattering to call me one of the staff, but Peter is the sales and marketing manager and uh, if you spend any time with him, you'll find his enthusiasm is infectious. By total contrast, you've got Greg with an accounting background. I think he brings the sanity to the business. We've had other agri-banks approach us to get our business, but we wouldn't change, provided they keep providing the service that they are. <laughs> they tick a lot of boxes as to what every business probably should be doing and could be doing to be as successful as they are. We've started with Bank West, they've always listened to our ideas when we wanted to grow. As I say, they never really try to hold us back. Maybe we've never asked for enough money, I don't know. Purely service. You know, the, the service is second to none. We probably don't want to deal with head office. We'd like to deal with uh, people and not a corporation. The decision making that we require is only a phone call away and it's local. As far as we're concerned, Bank West is all about our local manager here. We use all of the animals from when it comes in live to when it's, uh, when it's in a box and goes off to the various supermarkets and whatever. Meat meal to Bunnings and uh, Lambskins of China. We have an office and warehouse in China. Yeah, we um, salt and grade our skins green and they're uh, salted, graded, packed and shipped out. Every day there's containers going out. There's massive amounts of water used out there. So one of the ways that we, we worked on was to build a, a turf farm. So a lot of our high nutrient water is pumped onto the grass, which acts as a fertiliser and makes the grass grow. And then when they cut it, then our environmental problem goes out the front door here on the back of the truck. Now we've moved into wine and uh, Bank West have backed us on that as well. The exciting part is obviously seeing what their passion is about the business. Already our, our wines won international awards in Hong Kong. We plan to take our wine worldwide as well as our beef and lamb. I've only dealt with Bank West, but uh, I never wanted to leave because their, their support has been 110%. But one thing we're very proud of, the people that you join us stay with us. All our people are part of it. We're very proud of our people that uh, have, have grown the business. I suppose it just shows their total loyalty also to their staff to a degree. They uh, just want to make sure that this business is healthy at all given times and that there's always enough money in it to pay everything to everybody. If we've had a big fire or something went wrong, that people would be paid. We build our business around quality and um, it's just gone from, from there and we don't really know how it's got there but just hard work and, uh, a lot, and the right decisions in the industry. If someone has helped us in a, a difficult situation, you know, they've got our business for life as far as we're concerned.